how are you all hope you are fine and safe there okay so today i welcome you all to the 7th standard of english class so let's start our class with the first lesson three questions by leo tolstoy leo tolstoy was a very famous russian writer he was a short story writer novelist he was very famous and here uh, we have to learn or read his uh, story three questions okay i know that many of you have been to the textbook with you so no problem i will send you the pdf so today i'm going to tell the summary of the lesson three questions so it is the story of a king so let's have a look what the story or what the lesson says okay i'm telling the summary so all of you uh, should be all of you should be very careful okay is that careful so what there was a king there was a king so this is the story of a king and once a thought came into his mind that if he knew three things he would never fail in his life he will be always successful if he know answers for a three questions now let's have a look what are the three questions the first question is what is the right time to do something so in the first question we need order to get answer what is the right time to do something and the second question who are the important people for him who are the important people for him who are the important people for him and the third question is what is the important thing for him to do Counselors means a group of wise 
people like ministers and all. Okay, so the, uh, some wise men answered that the king should appoint a group of ministers because if he appoints a group of ministers, they can tell, they can advise the king that what is the right time to do something. Okay, and some said that if we want to uh, know the right time to do something, we should look into future. Okay, if we know what will happen in future, we can do, we can uh, what set a right time to do something now. So only magicians can do that. Okay, only we cannot we cannot know what will happen in future. So uh, magicians can look into the future and uh, they can tell the king that what is the right time to do something. So the king should go to a magician. Okay. So these are the different answers the king got for the first question that is what is the right uh, time to do something. And for the second question who are the important people for him or which people he should listen to. Okay. For that question he got some said that the important people for a king is doctors. Okay. Some said that soldiers are the most important people for them. And some told that priests are most important. So what do you mean by priests? Yes, priests are the people who do rituals and uh, that kind of things in temples, church, mosque, etc. So uh, they, are, they are called priests. So some said that doctors are important, some said that priests are important, uh, some said that ministers are important, counselors are important, some said that soldiers are important for the second question. And for the third question, what is the important thing uh, for him to do? So some uh, wise men said that the king should learn science. Okay. And some uh, said that fighting is more important and uh, some said that religious worship is more important. Religious worship you know, praying to God and okay, worshipping God, that is important. So he got, for the three questions, he got different, different answers. Okay, but the fact is that the king is not satisfied with all these answers. Okay, none of the wise men could satisfy the king. The king didn't like all these answers. He thought that these are not correct answers. Okay, so he desired to meet a hermit. Who is a hermit? Do you know who is a hermit? A hermit is a person, wise uh, person who lives simple life. Uh, life. Okay, like sannyasis and we call no. So that is hermit. So he desired to meet a hermit who is living in his country near a forest. Okay, near a wood, wood means forest. So the uh, hermit always likes normal people. So what did the king do? The king wore normal dress. Okay, the king wore normal dress and went to meet the hermit. Before he reached the uh, he reaches the hut. He uh, left his horse with his bodyguard. Okay, and he walked to the hut. When he reached the hut, he saw that the hermit was digging, digging the ground for planting something. Okay, so the king asked the hermit, "Why, hermit? I have come to know answers for three questions." Okay. What is the right time to do something? Who are the important people for him, for me? And what is the most important thing for me to do? He asked three questions to the hermit. But the hermit didn't reply. He said nothing. He silently continued his work. And after some time, the king told the hermit that, Oh, you look very tired. Let me help you. Give me that spade and I will dig for you. The hermit agreed. The hermit gave the spade to the king and the king began to dig the ground. After some time, the king again repeated his questions. At that time also, the hermit didn't 
say a word okay he said nothing okay he continued uh, he said he sat there silently so hours passed okay mean uh, the time is going on okay it's began the sun began to set that means it is evening now it is going to be night so the king became very angry okay he said that he said to the hermit that why don't you tell me the answers if you don't know the answer tell me so tell me that i don't know the answer then i can uh, return my home okay why don't you speak to me why don't you tell a word to me okay if you don't know the answer tell me so i will go i will return my home okay at that time the hermit said that here come someone running the hermit said to the king that here come someone running when the king turned back he saw a bearded man who uh, what is we mean by a bearded man mustache and beard okay beard uh, bearded man who was coming running towards them and he thrust his hands against his stomach because he is bleeding okay he was he has a wound on his stomach and he thrust his hands against her stomach and bleeding he was bleeding blood was flowing from uh, from his body okay so when the bearded man reached near the king and the hermit he fainted he fainted uh, he fell unconscious there okay that time the king removed his cloth and thrust his wound he used his handkerchief to thrust his wound but the bleeding is not uh stopping okay he again thrust the wound and uh, again uh, he what did something to stop the bleeding and at last the bleeding stopped the man felt better at that time the man asked for, for some water and the king gave him some water okay so then the king and the hermit took the man inside the hut and asked him to sleep okay to take rest now the time is uh, what it was too late it become night so the king decided to stay there stay in the hut the king also went to bed as he uh, was walking uh, to the hut and as he was doing work so uh, he was very tired and he went to a deep sleep so when the next morning when the king woke up he saw that the bearded man was sitting in near him in front of him the bearded man was there and the bearded man uh, said to the king that forgive me okay please pardon me forgive me i'm sorry and the king was wonder okay why why you should uh, asking me forgiveness okay i don't know who you are and i haven't done anything wrong to you then why should you seek my forgiveness okay the king was wondered he didn't understand anything okay so the bearded man said that you don't uh, king okay you don't know me but i know you okay i am your enemy okay i knew that i am your uh, sworn enemy i pledge i took oath i swore to kill you to take revenge on you because you killed my brother and seized my property what is seized my property in uh, took took by force without the permission uh, of that bearded man the king seized the king took all his money and property okay and killed his brother maybe they have done something wrong and the king may be punished his brother so the king so the king killed his brother so he was very angry and he also wanted to kill the king and take his revenge okay that's why he came there i knew the bearded man continued saying that i knew you came alone to meet the hermit so i made plans to kill you okay i was hiding near a bush behind a tree and a bush okay in order to kill you when you return from the hut when you when you are uh, you were you were away back to your home i was hiding there to kill you 
but the day has gone okay become night you didn't come back so i came out of my hiding place okay i came out of my hiding place and at that time your bodyguard saw me okay he recognized me and in order to protect you he wounded me okay the bodyguard the king's bodyguard wounded the bearded man okay that's why he got a wound on his stomach and he managed to escape from the bodyguard and reach near the king but what did the king do the king uh, served him okay the king tried to save him okay i came to kill you but you saved my life so today onwards i will be your faithful servant okay faithful loyal very sincere i will be your very faithful servant today onwards so the king become very happy why because uh, he made friendship with his, uh, with one of his enemies so the king ordered his servants to appoint a doctor to treat this person and the king agreed that the king will return all his property back okay now the king is very happy so the king uh, decided to go back to his palace and once again he met the hermit and asked these three questions again okay again he asked the three questions to the hermit what is the right time to do something huh? who are important for me and uh, what is the important most important thing for him to do and the king, the hermit smiled and said you have been answered the king was wondered what i have been answered but how i didn't get any answer please tell me what are you saying the king asked the hermit the hermit said that when you came yesterday you saw me uh, i was digging the ground at that time you offered me your help okay, instead of me you began to work there dig there okay so if you have it done that at that time what will happen you might have returned home and on the way you might have been killed okay killed by that person so the best time to do something is now okay now is the best time to do something okay what is the right time to do something now present time present time is the best time to do something and for the second question who are the important people for him okay who are the important people for, for him important people for a person is the person who is in front of him at any moment who is in front of us do help help them that is the important people for us okay and what is the third question what is the important thing for him to do what is the most important thing for him to do is that it is to do good to others he helped the uh, first he helped the hermit for digging the ground second he helped the wounded man to save his life that in save his life so those who are in front of us doing good to them is the most important thing for us to do okay do you understand so the king got answers for the three questions what is the first question what is the right time to do something and the hermit answer is now is the best time to do something who are the important people for him those who are present before us those who are with us at any moment at any time those who are in front of us they are the important people for us and what is the right most important thing for him to do what is the most important thing for us to do to do good to others okay doing good to others or helping others is the most important thing for us to do because god has sent all of us to this world to help others to do good to others okay so that the king got answers and he was happy so this is the story three questions by leo tolstoy okay hope all of you have
have understood the story now you read the story okay read the story and try to understand the new words and meanings write it in your notebook and study okay bye